Welcome to Credit 2, Day 5 of your Foundations in Computing class. I want to go over the Google suite of products uh, in a short screencast here. Um, you're familiar with Google as a search engine. You may be familiar with Google as uh, Google Chrome. They've got the web browser. Uh, you may be, uh, even be familiar with them as far as uh, Gmail goes. Maybe you've got a Gmail account, but they actually have a whole ton of different products. And I'm just scrolling down the page here, as you can see, they've got everything from uh, YouTube, which you're probably also familiar with, but didn't know that uh, Google owned it. Um, but also things like Google Maps that you can use. They've also got a whole bunch of specialized searches here, including Google Scholar, which is a good way to try to find information uh, if you're writing uh, some sort of a research paper. Google Finance, where you can research companies and stocks. Um, they have uh, Google Play um, for uh, music, movies, Picasa for editing and sharing photos. Um, and they've got all these home and office applications where Google Documents, where you can go in and uh, create documents and share them. Uh, Google Sheets, which is an online version of Excel. Uh, Google Slides, which is a version, their version of PowerPoint. All these are free uh, for you to use. Google Forms, you can use uh, this to create surveys uh, and then uh, people answer the surveys. It'll uh, put everything into beautiful uh, charts for you. Um, Google Sites, you can create websites and wikis. So again, you've got a whole bunch of options from Google here that you may not have even been aware of, and they're all free. A, a Google Voice, it will give you an online phone number that you can text from, uh, and it will forward calling to you. You can use it for uh, voice over IP calling if you want to. Um, so this is a good, re a good reason as any to set up a Gmail account because with it, or rather just a Google account, because with it, you'll have access to Gmail, Google Drive, which is uh, cloud-based storage, which means you can store stuff on there um, using their hard drives and then access it from any computer in the world or mobile device. Um, so I'd highly recommend setting up a Gmail account uh, because there's something in the Google universe that's going to be useful to you. Um, and you're going to need that Gmail account in order to access it. Um, now, if you're uh, you're a purist and you want to stay stay away from Google completely and only use the Bing search engine and uh, live in the Stone Age, go ahead. Uh, but for the rest of humanity, you're probably going to want to use a Google-based product at some point because they are free, they are good, and it's as simple as that. There's a ton of them. So. Uh, you can, ch you can check it all out on this google.com about forward slash products page, or you can just type in Google products into the Google search engine, and it'll pop up. Um, and check it out. Poke around. Set yourself up a Google account and uh, start messing with some of the stuff, because they've got a bunch of neat stuff, and it's all free, and it's all yours for the taking with a Google account. All right, guys. I uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks for listening, and good luck with class.